Look at the front of this new Volkswagen Arteon. You will look again as it is resting on the extended haunches of this new grand-sized four-door coupe. The Volkswagen is aiming to enter the more premium segment of the automotive industry and is also intending to elevate the Volkswagen badge to newer heights. The question is, would this Arteon be able to compete with the more established and desirable badges like BMW, Audi and Mercedes? Let's find out. But before, please subscribe to our YouTube channel on Yalla Motor and wait for more exciting car reviews. Artune has been designed, gives it a very massive and aggressive stance over the road. Um, it is one of the most emotionally designed Volkswagens ever and uh, it makes it a very worthy successor over the Passat and CC. It's lower, longer and wider and uh, there is no argument about the way it looks. I mean, it's amazing to look at. Um, the way the roof lines extend to the back and smoothly taper over into the boot that's uh, a delight to look at uh, these gt lines and how the clamshell uh, bonnet extends and overlaps a bit over to the led headlights uh, the 20 inch alloy rims the front grille all of these uh, elements give this arteon a very dynamic masculine and at the same time sporty appearance <laughs> When you enter the cabin, there is a sense of space and minimalism. The cabin is large and is broad. Um, the vent that runs to the length of the dash is pretty cool. Um, you have a crisp 9.2 inches of infotainment display, which in my opinion sits a little bit too lower on the dash. Uh, in the driver's cockpit, you have the digital display uh, speedometer as well, which is very handy. And then you have some decent buttons on the steering wheel to control everything from your hands on the steering wheels while keeping your eyes on the road as well. Um, the materials used are of premium quality, like for example, the plastics are nice and neat and the leather on the steering wheels is also very solid and it's also of a good quality as well. Um, the Arteon comes with decent practicality as well, like for example, you have the two coffee holders over here, then you have a center box. Um, if I can show you how you can use that, you can stuff a lot of things over there. And then you have door bins which can hold your large water bottles as well. The seats are of premium leather Nepa quality uh, and you, when you enter you have a sense of comfort and smoothness as well. Um, the seats are adjustable in 14 different ways and the driver seats, they are equipped with massage and memory as well. Um, there's a lot of sense of space, especially when you go to the backside. This is because of the chassis that is very large and uh, longer and lower. So when you sit at the backside, there's plenty of legroom and there's plenty of headroom, even though there is a sliding roof line as well. The boot of the Arteon is spacious and uh, compared to where it stands in the segment, it is one of the largest with one, 560 liters of space and you can practically load anything in this Arteon. This R-Line Arteon that I'm driving is a 2-liter petrol turbocharged 4-cylinder engine which comes with 280 horsepower and a very healthy 350 newton meters of torque. It makes it a very fast car, not a very fast car but relatively a fast car in this, uh, this segment. 
um, it goes from 0 to 100 in under 6 seconds which is convincingly makes it a little bit faster um, the drive uh, in this car is very comforting and very easy and very cushy thanks to its long wheelbase and also the uh, seatings uh, which are very comfortable. I've been driving this car for longer hours uh, and I didn't feel tired or fatigued at all. So if you're planning to buy a long distance cruiser and you have to drive from Ras Al Khaimah to Abu Dhabi or Alain to Sharjah or wherever, this is the perfect car. It also has plenty of safety features and some uh, technologies as well uh, like the 360 degree parking assist camera. It's really amazing. It can help you park this car anywhere. Since all, again it sits lower and longer, uh, the suspension makes uh, it a very uh, easy and secure car to be in when you're turning in uh, difficult turns uh, or bumpy roads as well. Arteon has four different kinds of uh, drive modes, but you will not be able to differentiate between the comfort, economy and normal, except the sports mode which is very nice and crisp and make, makes it a bit zippy. The steering of this R-Line uh, Arteon is precisely weighted and is very firm, um, helps driving make a pleasure and a joy. And uh, the brakes, the brakes are really amazing. I mean, I've been driving it really fast and uh, in traffic as well. So they are able to assist you very efficiently and proficiently. Even with a car as boldly designed and extensively equipped as the Arteon, it is an ambitious move by the Volkswagen to enter the segment of premium brands and give a fight to Audi, Mercedes and BMW in this niche market. Um, the Arteon is arguably a long distance cruiser uh, with plenty of features which the competition already has. So the question is with its massive appearance, bold looks and this turmeric yellow color at 220,000 dirhams, would this tempt you to buy it? Let us know.